The next scripture we're going to talk about, I feel like, is one of the fundamental scriptures for me that's helped me so much. It's uh, John 10.10, 10, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus came to give life and life more abundantly. And what it means to me is <clears throat> anytime something happens in my life, I immediately know that I don't have to blame God every time something happens. And I feel honestly so bad for God that the enemy is so good at putting the blame on God for everything. I mean, he's using people and situations to try to hurt, like hurt relationships, steal, kill, and destroy relationships, money, money deals, you're roping, everything in life. He's, he's all about trying to set you back. Every bad thing comes from Him. Every good thing comes from God. And once I got that settled in my life as a, as a young man, I can say I, <clears throat> I didn't blame God every time something didn't go my way. And I, I just noticed that people really struggle with that a lot. And uh, it's, it's confusing a lot of the times. But God has nothing but good designed for you. And the more we allow Him to help us, <clears throat> We're going to get life and life more abundantly. Nobody better at producing life and life more abundantly. Our marriages, our businesses, our careers. He knows our talents and abilities. Now the enemy, on the other hand, he wants to bust every marriage up, which unfortunately, most of them, it's somewhere around 60% divorce rate now. Uh, I mean, he's done a good job of just wrecking all kinds of relationships. Look at social media. People going back and forth, banging at each other, saying negative things. Uh, well, guess who's behind all that? Uh, God uses the internet for really good things, and the enemy uses it for really bad things, a lot of negative things. But I encourage you to let that be your line in the sand once and for all. Every good thing comes from God, and every negative thing comes from the other direction. So allow that to really be a... A direction finder for you so you're not always um, trying to put the blame game on God when he's innocent he's always innocent in every situation he's not gonna hurt anybody's little boy or girl to teach him a lesson he's not gonna put sickness on me I've just recovered from my third stroke I know God had nothing to do with that and I, I never blamed him in one situation all I did do though is I give him credit for finding the hole in my heart, which a doctor healed that up, and now I'm never going to have another stroke again, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine, 100% recovered from three strokes in a row. Only God can do that for you. Yeah. You know, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, drawing that line in the sand and realizing the enemy's job, which is the devil, Satan, he's a thief, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy, Recognizing God's job, Jesus said that I've come to give you life. The word life in itself means the quality of life, the nature of God, that, that God is, is wanting to so fill you and I that it flows out of us, that we experience life and life more abundantly. In the Amplified Translation, it says, to the full till it overflows. He, he wants our peace to be overflowing. He wants our joy to be overflowing. He wants just his life in us to overflow, to change the world around us. So realizing that when you ask Jesus to come into your heart, that's Jesus coming on the inside of you and he recreates you on the inside. He's saying, I come to give you life, the quality of life, the nature of God, and he wants you to enjoy life. Enjoy life, not just barely get by, not be miserable and, and mad and grumpy all the time, but enjoy life. You know, I've watched your life for years and hey, you've always played with the kids and had fun mm -hmm. and you've enjoyed life. You know, mm -hmm. that's one of the things we want to do when you come to the, the camps and stuff and we spend time with you. We want you to enjoy your roping. We want you to enjoy life. But even in your marriage, God wants you to enjoy that. In your business, God wants you to enjoy that rodeo and rope. And he wants you to enjoy the journey where you're at on the way to where you're going. So identify God's character and nature. Don't ever... Uh, give God the enemy's job description, which is kill, steal, and destroy. Like Al said, it's it's not God's nature to cancer, sickness, the curse, lack, defeat, all that type of stuff. God's nature is good, only good, blessing, only blessing. 
So draw a line in your heart, draw a line in the sand, John chapter 10, verse 10, get it in you, keep growing, keep going, be a doer of it. God bless you guys. That's good. Smartytraining.com, you can go to that. We're going to have all these scriptures on there. We actually plan on putting each one of these scriptures on our caps and our, our t-shirts, hoodies, other things. And So anyway, <clears throat> we'll make them available uh, as much as we possibly can, but you can definitely go to that website or Facebook, Smarty Facebook, and see all of them, Trey's website.